Today, I'm going to pick up some cards from out the main yard. Uh, this will be for two industries that you can find on the bookshelf layout that I have already built, minus the scenery. As you can see, I made some changes uh, opening up the yard. So my rep is pushed further away from the camera, which should make out for some better videos. Today, my power is three GP38s from Atlas. Actually, one is a GP39. All three have sound. So right now we're going to make it out the yard and cross over to the main line where we'll be next to the inner motor yard, which has the reverse loop. Those are three transformers that I printed. Right now my printing is on hold while I work on a few other projects. Now we're on the reverse loop. And what I'm going to do is reverse the two front engines. working on some new roadway uh, and those roadways will be to get to the intermodal yard and to the other industry the salt industry that I have adjacent to the intermodal Long distance in a modal coming from points north. Behind that is uh, one of the longer, well, the longest freight train that I've ran on my layout. So I've been testing it up and down the incline, and surprisingly, everything's been working fine due to my ramp. This does have. Of course, you saw the three front units and have two DPUs on the end. And the motor was going back up north after dropping off and picking up. Just waiting for access and now we're going to go through the passenger station, bypassing the main yard and find our way to the car floats. 
have to do some quick maneuvering right here. So I'm going to, these two engines are going to go ahead. Already dropped off one of the, not, yeah, I already dropped one off. So that one's going to push, but you'll see. The track that I'm on right now is the one of two mains where the other one can have the power turned off. Uh, but this track switches over to that, I guess I would call it a branch line where you see the amp track right now. Also leads to the power plant and of course the car floats. So this was another day where I decided to add some reach cars to this operation which will be permanent reach cars or buffer cars. So the idea uh, over here, I've changed things around over the months, but the track that is furthest to the right, I want that to be a, a water treatment facility uh, where the byproduct is an actual uh, fertilizer. And in Milwaukee, there is um, a, a water treatment center on Jones Island called the Jones Island Water Treatment Center. And uh, the byproduct there is this fertilizer. Uh, I can't think of the name right now. Uh, but it is one of the only facilities, I guess, in, in North America. At least that's what they said. I, I took a tour there, and I, I took some video of that. But anyway, that's what I plan to do because they have hoppers there that get picked up every couple of days in the afternoon. So I thought that would be a good spot. By the way, this is the uh, other side of where I'm normally at on, when I'm in the layout room. And uh, I, I definitely neglected this area. Uh, so I'm thinking about pretty much ripping up all that road that you saw. And kind of trying to see how I could make the best out of this area but not doing too much. I mean it's not a, a pretty corner really. But I mean I can still get some operations done. And I, I do have the the rotary dumper that is to your left. Did a video on that way back. But you know how you get into projects and then it just like sits to the side. So, you know, I'll, I'll get to it when I can. Everything you see, with the exception of the track, needs to be 
picked up and uh, rebuilt. Overall, this went pretty smoothly. This is only my second time doing this. I kind of have the, the heights involved uh, with getting the car float level with the track. So I plan on getting a flat surface, you know, to start mimicking the water. I know if I add that clear water stuff, that, that increases the height even though it's small, but that might be uh, a bit too much and as far as aligning with the track. So I might just add the cardboard or whatever flat surface painted and call it a day. Now we're on my bookshelf layout, which is DC. And I have two MP15s, I believe. Uh, which were CNWs, but I took off the that road name and I added mine, which essentially they say HBRR on them, but uh, some of that decal has fell off. Um, so in the future, I do plan to make this a bit nice, but I'll for right now, this is what I have. I want to focus on. Uh, add in the blocks accordingly. The blocks are already set actually. I have, I have the track insulated at certain spots so I could uh, run the two DC locomotives independently. Not at the same time but I, I like to switch back and forth so I can get the cars organized. I, I have industries here. Uh, three right now. But with the remainder of the track, I would like to store rolling stock. This is my porch area, and we use it mostly for storage. Uh, so I have this at, this is probably at like five feet, so my oldest child can't get to it. And it's out of my wife's way. The tankers are going to go to that far side track uh, where I have some some tanks there, but I'm, I'm really not sure what the actual product is going to be yet. That is to be determined. I'll take any ideas out there. It's not the cleanest, but it works, and that's all that matters to me. I do think that I will have reliability issues with aligning this track. It may just take a bit longer, and I, I really don't have this situated. I just did everything on the fly. You know, uh, as you can see, pink foam is one of the... It's the most abundant material on my layout. I made a decision on that midway building. <laughs> 